Oh, this is great, guys. I'm actually excited. Sometimes I play games, you know, and I'm like, let's see how this one goes, how I feel about it. And I'm just like, eh, I'm not, I'm not into it. I'm actually genuinely pumped to be exploring down here and looking for the good loot. Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Ryan, and this is Nessess, and we are back today to continue the series, episode number two of this fantastic little game. If you are interested in picking this game up yourself, there's a link in the description to the Steam page. Throw it on your wish list or grab it right away. Also, if you want to watch me play the game for the very first time, I've got a link to my older series down there in the description, too. But this day, this series is on hard mode. I did bump it up even though it's been about seven months since i uploaded my last or the first video of my last series now if we go to our world yep you can see hard mode it is so we got to watch out for that but uh, i have already died once and in fact i already blew up the cottage once with the bomb i took those off the hot bar though so it shouldn't be a problem now we've got a full health bar we're a little bit hungry, but I don't think we're quite enough hungry to justify some food. One thing I think I will do is start using some of these potions. Increase damage dealt, yes. And I'll do attack speed. I'll do health regen too. Mana regen, I don't have any mana weapons, so I'm going to save it. But I mean, since we're on hard mode, it's definitely noticeable. Like I said, I died in the first one. And let's see, R. R is the button for... Yeah, the quick torch. Gotta remember that. Oh, oh. This might be one of those rooms that has the vampires in it. Now that might be a tricky fight. Let's see here. I do have a hammer. So I got a special little weapon. And I've got this thing too. Picked up these recently. <gasps> There's definitely a vampire in there. Look, 75. Dare I go for it? I think, I honestly, I don't have any armor on. I literally just made a bow recently. Oh. And wasting my arrows but um i think we should spend a little bit of time just mining it's good that we now know the location of some vampires though because that is our one of our quests so we got to get that going a lot of dead ends here a lot of dead ends i think i'm just gonna dig straight through oh good there is a little space here Let's see is my smart mine on there we go kick that on come and get some Got you. I gotta watch out for my health. All right, we want to be it. Let's eat that rabbit. Grab this. I'm gonna snipe this boy. Come here, you. Oh, you're done. You're done, sir. All right, let's move. Is that a piece of iron, or is that one of those things? So there's some enemies that will like carry loot or ore with them. No, that's just straight up iron ore. But they like disguise themselves as it. It's weird. You'll know it when you see it. Come here, zombies. Yeah, form a little line. There you go. Yep. Come into the tight space with me. Aha! All right, so we're coming around. Uh, I'd like to venture into this area because there's a chest right there. There's also some enemies. Let's see what we can do. Oh, there's one of them. Did you see him? He ran away. I think he's got gold ore. I don't know. There's a spider nest up here, too. I don't really want to go diving into that. How many torches do? Whoa. I'm looking at 13 torches. How many, well, I just make some more. No, I can't. I need wood. It's probably all up in the smelter, so we will have to keep that in mind. I've got limited... Oh, oh, oh. Bro, that guy scared me. I thought he was a for real like enemy like this guy. This hammer's doing some damage, though. This thing can handle it. All right, we got copper. Let's go into stealth mode for a second. And oh, I'm sorry, this is gold. Oh, we got gold in this hill here. So yeah, let me loot this, uh, mine this out real quick. Okay, I'm getting shot with arrows right now. But man, those caveling, that's what they're called. The little guys that hide, but carry around or they're everywhere. Oh, I can barely just not hit that guy. Oh, launching some fiery arrows. This He's retreating now. He's scared of me. Where'd I get the fire arrows from? I mean, I'm not complaining, but they're gone now. Uh, let's see, what am I looking at? 87 more. Damn, these spiders. I might as well just go for the hammer for these guys. Come on. You're not gonna web me, sir. It's not how this whole game is played. We got another mysterious portal. 
not that mysterious anymore when I've got nine of them in the chest upstairs, but that's okay. God, it's been hell clearing out this spider cave. Whoa. Bro, I'm watching my health. I don't want to die. There's a cabling. And they're so tempting to go for, but it's like suicide. At this point, chasing them through this area would be suicide. But I will get them one day. I'm going to get all that gold they've got. All right, my health. My health, my health. Whoa. I can't, I can't stop. You know, I just see more loot and I la I'm like, I got to go for it. <laughs> oh crap, he saw me. As long as he doesn't have arrows, we're good. I can, my hammer can knock these guys out real good. Let's go around. Look at this idiot. Does he even know I'm here? No, I don't think he, oh look, I got some health potions. Oh, <gasps> that was awesome. Wait, do we have like, it's probably H. <gasps> I got gotcha. you. Didn't even touch me. I mean, it's probably a Q for quick use. I might move that to H. No, Q is okay. I don't know. We'll see how that works. I might change it to my whoa, my thumb button on my mouse. We'll see. It's just a matter, really, for me, of like how many other functions we have to map out. You know what I'm saying? Oh Christ! Oh dang it! I panicked. Crap, I gotta go get all my stuff. Okay, we are back here. I'm completely naked. Now, I've still got some stuff. But I did drop a lot of loot over here, so let's grab it. I should have made some more torches while I was up there waiting for my health to regen. I didn't. Come here. I see you. Alright, I'm taking out this trap right away. Okay, because that gave me some gr- Oh, there's more guys. Yeah, those traps will give you some grief if you're careless like I am. I like to just barge right in and do my thing. God. Come here, you jerk. Go into the lava. What do we got? All right, I'm just going to take all and pretend like I'm a pro at this game. What is that? <gasps> okay, hold on. Take all and close her up. Where is it? Loot it. Equip it, baby. All right, let's take that. Now I can grab all my stuff. And I can recall scroll out of here. No, I'm kidding. Let's keep fighting for now. Still not confident in the vampires, but I mean, I need to get more iron and copper. Let's see. I've got, why do these not stack? Um, cave spider gland. That's gross. I don't have a lot. I've got some gold, but I mean, yeah, I've got 19 ores. Let's keep these together. So I know where they're at. This is good. That's, oh, we've got a little weapon here. I'll put that where the gold goes. Yeah, the ninja star, whoop, can be thrown. I got 17 of them. Let's go in here. This looks like a, oh, there's stacks of coins, bro. There goes a little caveling. Health potions. Yeah, this is a good spot. Ninja stars. Wait, where are they? Oh, they're super fast. I like that. All right, we'll be using these here for sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The angler has arrived at the settlement. Should, oh, there's more gold right here. Should we go greet him? Oh my god. I have stumbled into a fortune. A fortune 500 dungeon. Oh, I missed something up here. Definitely want that potion. Come on. Hey, is this guy running from me? He should. He's got a broken tool, that's why. He realized I'm no match. Oh, this is great, guys. I'm actually excited. Sometimes I play games, you know, and I'm like, let's see how this one goes, how I feel about it. And I'm just like, eh, I'm not, I'm not into it. I'm actually genuinely pumped to be exploring down here and looking for the good loot. All right, so we got some iron. Didn't I see gold too? Am I crazy? I might have seen this and thought it was gold, but let me go ahead and grab this. Oh, check this out, guys. I've got two cavelings right in front of me. I think they're trapped. Nope, they're not trapped. <laughs> uh, I've been using this little punching thing. It's actually pretty good. It's got more damage than my... Nope, that's not one of them. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's got more damage than the um, hammer. Just slightly, but... It's enough. Alright, there's... You're trapped, bro. That's mine. Give me that gold. No! Oh my god. Oh, he went into the cave. He went into the spider's den. 
sneaky little caveling. There's another one here, though. Oh my god, is his health still low? <gasps> it is. Oh my god, there's three spiders. Hold on, I feel more comfortable with my hammer against the spiders. Look, they're afraid of me now. It's the green hair, isn't it, you wimps? What a bunch of wusses. Hold on, I got an idea. Ay! All right, quit foiling my plans here, jerks. These guys are absolute cowards. All right, this, these, okay, these two have some guts on them. No, they don't. They just ran away. All right, the bomb didn't really work that well. I'm going to clear out your entire nest. Godforsaken spiders. All right, well, I've left the spider's cave behind in favor of just digging straight through the walls. And that turned out to be a terrible idea, too. Um. Oh. No. How? How did you just walk right through my swinging hamber? Oh, my God. How far was I? I can't even look at the map. Damn it. Oh, what do you want, nerd? Let's see. Will you join my settlement? Except. No. Not yet, bro. We're not ready. See, this is what I'm talking about, though. I definitely need to start building. And making some houses and stuff. Explore some of the area up here just so we can get a feel. I need to... What we really need, though, is more ore. Yeah, because I'm not going to be out there chopping wood with uh, a wood axe. You know, that's just silly. But I'm definitely going to use the speed potion. I'll use another battle potion. What is this? Fire resist. These aren't that helpful. Those are like tier two. This is tier one stuff. Okay. I'm going to keep it, though, for now. I think there's a bag you eventually get that's for, like, putting your potions and your food and stuff in. Like, separate bags for those. But, anyway, we got to get down there. I don't like the idea. Wait, you know what? Hold on. Uh, no. I was going to say, I don't like the idea of waiting around up here while my stuff is just sitting down there. Is it possible that it despawns? I don't know. But I don't like that idea. Maybe if we logged out or something, we would lose it. But again, I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comments if anybody is aware. I'm sure there's some veteran Necess players out there for sure tuning in. I hope you guys are all enjoying the series. But there might be a few new people too, like such as myself, who could use the tip. But anyway, let's see. So he didn't have a legitimate quest for me, did he? There's a recent death. That's the one right there. So it's just straight south. Shall I dig? I think I shall just dig straight through. Again, it might not be the safest course, but then again, I might just get uh, take a little time, go safely straight through solid rock all the way there. Well, you know, in fact, that is basically what I just did, was dig straight through the wall, and we're almost there. A couple more little chunks, and we're in. All right, now there's my stuff. Let me grab it real quick. Come to me. How we looking? 70 iron. All right. I was going to teleport out of here, but the stair is right there. I mean, I've only got four scrolls, so I think I'll just wait. There goes the angler leaving the forest settlement. I see what you think of me, sir. Leaving that easily? No, but I am going to spend a little time up here building. Let's just uh, throw that in there. Do I need wood? Probably. And we'll do that. Oh, the gold is next. Should I just build another forge? I think I should. It only takes stone, right? Stone's going to be very easy to get. All right. I need the wood, though. That's another thing, too. When I'm considering building, what should we use? Should we use stone or wood? I mean, he's got a wood house. It doesn't look terrible. This looks terrible, and that was stupid, and whoever put that there is a complete moron, but everything else, it's legit. I could, I could build a little settlement on this, at least for starters, and then eventually we will do, like, some stone walls and stuff, and I'll probably make, you know, 
some stone cottages as well who knows what i i have no idea what kind of overall build i'm gonna go for but i do want to get creative with it try and if not use exotic materials at least have something you know more than just square rectangular buildings nothing against that but i think it's it's fun to try and invest a little bit of extra time like I say, into trying to get creative with the architecture. One thing we do definitely want to do just for survival's sake, I think, is get some of these cows and sheep fenced up. So wood will probably help with that too. But um, yeah, I'm just going to clear cut the forest here for a few minutes. All right. Well, it is nighttime out here. I think it's time to head inside. As you can see, we're safe. All right, bud, don't open the door that much. Go to bed. Yeah. Nap. T nap time, old man. But uh, I'm going to do some crafting here. I've been watching the forges very carefully, getting all the bars out of them. So, yeah, that's it. We've got a little bit of wood on us. Let's see what we can craft. I do have only craftable selected now just for ease. But uh, sickle shear, we'll need this stuff when we get those animals and the farm up and running. But speaking of which, oh, I need to eat. Yeah, we definitely need to get that going. Unless I just want to be out there hunting rabbits for a night or two. But either way, let's focus here. Oh, we got a magic item. That could be cool. Torches, iron bars, probably pretty weak. Yeah, magic 10. I don't need a magic item that badly. I'll just use my bow and arrow. But um, what I'm actually thinking about are tools. Since I'm up here messing around, chopping wood, I'm definitely done with that wood axe. So I don't need it to be gold. Let's go for... Let's save our gold for armor. Wait, wait. Now, you know what? I'm going to flip that. We're going to use our iron for armor, and I'm going to use my gold for the tools. And eventually we'll get to gold armor too. It's just for starters, you know what I'm saying? Because I actually have a bit more of that, so I might be able to craft up like the helmet. Chest piece. Nice, nice. Okay. I think... How's... What's the strength on these copper weapons? Pretty garbage. Pretty... I will go ahead and just grab some pants. Alright. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I've got the copper bow. Traveling merchant. Alright, we should check that dude out too. All right, nice. Oh, yeah, we're looking pretty good. Can I hide the helmet, though? I don't know if I love that. Let me see. There's got to be a way, right? Head slot. Um, uh, I guess I'll figure that out later. It's okay. I just loved his face, his green face. Something appealing about that haircut. But anyway, let's, let's keep crafting here. Okay, so in terms of iron or gold were done and i don't really see much use for oh oh he's out there fighting yeah i don't see a lot of use for the copper stuff right now unless hold on do i need like a shovel i guess i should probably take a shovel don't honestly know what that what good that's going to be but i'll keep it in the hot bar taking those out of there all right, so that's it. That's all we can craft up now. So I'll put these away. Very good. And yeah, yeah. Let's go talk to this dude. See where he's at. I, I think I see him down here to the south. Yep, came right to the flag. All right, what do we get when we interact with you, sir? Oh. And do I need to go get my monies? I think I do. Hold on, I want to sell some to you. Oh, okay. He'll buy map fragments. Tell you what, let's grab the gold that we've got. And I've got four map fragments. I think I will sell to this guy for now. I know at some point we'll probably want the map fragments, but I'm just going to grab the gold. There we go. Where does, Where's my gold? There it is. 787. All right, let's buy some stuff. So he's got pirate map. No, I'll definitely take a rope. Um, binoculars, maybe. Cosmetic item. How much is that? No. Imported sheep used to spawn one sheep. Imported cow. Oh, so if you want to like start your base in like a desert or something, maybe. That's probably what that is, I bet. Now this is what I really want, but we don't have enough money for it. Damn it. The brain on the stick is like the first... Oops, sorry, Cal. I think it's the first like little companion weapon item you can get, summon item. 
but that's okay. Like I said, we're just a little bit of sh gold short. So you know what that means. Time to head below. All right. Now I know I said I wanted to get up there and craft and stuff or not craft, but build. And I do, but it's nighttime right now. So it's not the best, but uh, I think what I'd like to try is these vampires. So there's a few in here. I'm worried, but I think we can do it. I did take my potions, so I've got three potions. We got our food consumed to the max. Health is good. Let's knock this out. I just need to kill probably like one. Yeah, usually, oh, oh, oh. Oh my God, these guys are heavy hitters though, aren't they? Oh, snap. Retreat? Yeah, I think that we just got one. We had needed to kill one dude. <laughs> oh, out of there. Did I get the quest item? There it is, fake fangs. It always drops out the first dude. I'm looking for the quest. There you go. Complete quest. And deliver cra Oh, desert crabs. Gotcha, gotcha. So we will need to go to the desert for the next quest item. Other than, I think, the final boss, too. Not the final boss. The first boss. Put that in there. Why is this not going? What is this? Oh. Oh. Crafting material. Trinket. Increases build speed. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to need that, right? It also increases my attack speed, so I'll keep it in that slot for now until I get, a, you know, an additional trinket. But that'll be super helpful. You know what I was also thinking? Instead of, I could just come down here and take out these walls. You know, if I really wanted to do some building with wood. Does it take that long? Should I be using the axe? Probably. Um, yeah, it's a little faster with the gold axe, I think. Might as well. We can get a cottage or two. And you know what I'm thinking about, too? I'm kind of realizing these little structures aren't bad. I mean, these aren't your standard just like square or rectangular structures. They actually have a little bit of uh, thought put into them. I mean, they're basically as circular as you're going to get. But I like them. Maybe something along those lines isn't a bad idea. But... Yeah, this seems kind of tedious. I don't know. I've only got 16. That's definitely not not very many. There's a few on the ground here. Let's see. What did we end up with? 22. And a door. Yeah, probably better just to cut down trees up top. Okay, well, I found another room filled with gold, but I also found those vampires. Gotcha. Gotcha, boyo. All right. Q. Q, Q, Q. I got to remember that. That's not... I don't know if I love that, actually. Let's see. Settings, controls, health potion. I'm trying to think what I had it set on Terraria. Not the default. I think I had it set to H. But, you know, I'm going to go crazy, and I will set it to my thumb button. There we go. We'll see how that goes. Normally, in Terraria, I had my thumb button set to my grappling hook. But, again, it's all just down to personal choice, which you want to learn, you know, and... That's the thing is you can learn any hotkey setup. You just got to force yourself to, you know, work through the errors. Cause no matter what setup you decide on, you're going to mess up occasionally, you know, you're going to panic at times or accidentally slip up and use a health potion by mistake or whatever. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like I said, as long as you're dedicated, you stick with it, you get it down eventually. But look at this. Oh my God. I might, you think that guy's still there? How much gold do I have? Oh, <gasps> That's not even, that's just what I picked up from down here. Well, there's a little bit more. Let's go back up top and see if I can afford that uh, cave thing or brain on a stick. Is that what it was? See if that guy's still here. Don't stop me, zombie. I will not be thwarted. What is that? A cave mole. I've never seen that. Oh, flip. Dude, they're coming out. I unleashed the hounds when I opened up that vampire cave. All right, he's still here, folks. There he is. Let's talk to him before he leaves. I want to buy something from you, sir. There it is. Brain on a stick. <laughs> we got ourselves a little zombie now. Awesome. So that's going to be a permanent item. I'll put that in my hotbar instead of the stone wall. That seems more appropriate. Oh, look, and he's just leaving, too. Perfect timing. Well, I tell you what, going down below is very lucrative for sure. All right, so like I promised, we're going to do some building here. What do you guys think of this? I don't know. I was going to go like this and then remove this. Yeah, not have that piece there. That might be a little better like that. 
And then, of course, I've got a door. Let's go ahead and put that down. Boom, there you go. So that's a dwelling. Obviously, I need the floors, some lighting and stuff, but some furniture. But I've left enough room here so we can have a nice little wide, like, roadway eventually and we'll have it go north to south and then i'll i'll branch off and we'll do some other you know settlements or houses and stuff in this area but this is obviously going to be kind of the center of things i suppose i think we can move stuff around i might be wrong but regardless this is looking pretty good uh, still got a lot of work to do, so I'm going to continue to gather resources and stuff. Speaking of resources, man, I got just a ton of different potions. But yeah, since survival is so key, I think getting um, some more wood, making a fence down, getting a fence down too, that's going to be so critical. And hopefully we get a good NPC, like a, uh, a farmer or even another fisherman would be cool. Somebody that can help us stay uh, set up with food. This might be a good spot for a fisherman, actually, right next to the lake. Yeah, I could put a door in the back, too. That's probably what I should do. Yeah, give them a double exit and stuff. But I got big plans, guys. As I'm sitting here thinking about it, looking at the stuff, it's all starting to come together in my mind. So I hope you will stick around for the series and see how things shape up in the future. We've got a lot to go. This is only the second one. So I hope you're enjoying it so far. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel while you're down there if you haven't done that yet. We do daily uploads here for Nisses, Rim World, and a few other games as well. So I really appreciate you all and I will see you on the next episode.